Hey! Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. This is of Star Tropics on the NES. And this is a game that was only released in the North America and the Europe regions. Like what? Where's Japan? It's always released in Japan. Yeah, I know. This is one of the few games out there that did not get a Japan release. I don't know why, but what I do know is my buttons are not working on my controller. I betcha. Yeah. Nestopia, for some reason, does this every so often. It resets all of my buttons. All of the buttons. <laughs> and... We're good, right? We're good, right? <laughs> so this is basically like the start of the game via intro. It's a helicopter coming to land on Sea Island, or maybe Crescent Island. They call it Sea Island, but I don't know. It looks like a moon, so I like saying Crescent Island. What what is this? Man, does this ever look familiar? <laughs> So let's just go ahead and plop a name in there. There we go. It works just like... Hit the Xbox button, thanks. <laughs> it looks just like Zelda time. Alright. Prelude. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. We're here! And... That. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me? Why is left button 7 now? Okay. <laughs> I don't think I pressed that earlier, did I? <laughs> I, mean, I just put my name in and everything. Alright, so we're in town. Nestopia is bugging the poop out. Welcome to Coral Cola! Yay! Actually, you know what I should do before I talk to everyone? Um, I'm gonna go to the chief because there's a little... There's a dealio. We gotta talk to everyone. I wanna get all the dialogue. I've been waiting for you. I'm Chief Coca-Cola and a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news. Last night, try not to be upset, but... Well, try not to be too upset. Your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted! No! Oh, and he's shirtless, so he's gonna be banned from Twitch TV. We must keep this from the Islanders so they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? Nah, probably not. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? Wait, why am I the best of all the people? Good. You're brave. Take this island yo-yo. Oh, thank you! You may think this yo-yo is just a toy, but it is very powerful. Oh, so it's an iron yo-yo with iron string. Mike, you're an ace pitcher. Use it! Okay, so I guess because I got a strong arm, I'm the best man for the job. Mike, it looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below, many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get you. And wait, my name's not Mike, it's PK Gam. Get it right. Oh, dang it! Oh, fine. Call me, Mike. The fate of your uncle is in your hands. Find a tunnel in this in the village and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. Okay, if you talk to him, he'll just kind of repeat that, so... Um, now, the tunnel that we gotta go to is up over here. He's gonna be like, nope, can't go through here until you talk to everyone. Who are you? Stay away from here! Well, he, okay, he doesn't sp say it specifically, but before you can actually go down that tunnel, you've got to talk to everyone in the village, so let's go ahead and do so. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Everything's got a cola pun around here. <laughs> oh, I see. Was it the Millennium Puzzle? That could cause a lot of issues, if you ask me. Last night I gazed up at the Southern Cross. Suddenly I saw many shooting stars. Legends say shooting stars are omens of disaster. Oh me! Oh my! Oh no! Hello. I have to hurry. I'm gonna roast a pig for your- Oh no! This pig down here! But he looks so friendly! Oh! And this pig is going to be banned from Twitch TV. Anyway... <laughs> Let's go and talk to the remainder of the peeps. I miss... I miss Coral 1990. Do you think I'm pretty? 
<laughs> and a beauty contest around these island parts. Have you met our chief yet? He's waiting for you. I did. Wait, did I talk to you down here? I just kind of skip people. Just, just, uh, just uh, welcome. To, yeah, I did. I mean, I, I did like to talk to you before, but I mean, I'm, I don't remember who I talked to really quick because I wanted to show that you have to talk to everyone to unlock that dealio up there. Mm, well, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so I should be able to go through here now. <laughs> oh, you're Dr. J's nephew. Here's the tunnel. Good luck. Yeah, see, gotta talk to everyone before you're allowed into the first dungeon! I'm the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle was abducted because he found the secret in the lost ruins. She's only got two things that are moving on her, the mouth and her hand, which is going in circles. I have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Just like your North Star Island sailors. Look, oh, the Southern Cross, I forgot to do a pause after that comma. Mike, many wild monsters await you in the dark below. But remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. Now begin the test of island courage. Good luck! Alright. We went from one style to another! What the poop? Yeah, there's like an exploring overworld style with no enemies and stuff. And then there's this style with bunches of enemies. You got your attack button with the B button and you can jump. You can jump one square across uh, certain blocky type dealios like these right here. You just go boop, boop. But if you can't go further than that unless there's some sort of special power-up dealio that you have in your inventory, but that's not really something until a little bit later on. Alright! We are good to go. We're gonna take care of those slugs like nobody's business. Now the first thing that you're gonna notice while playing this game, when you're in this like battling type area, is how weird the controls feel. Like, there is a bit of a delay for when you change direction. Do you see that? You see that? Yeah, you can just like... You can, you can go up, but you can also pivot while you're turning uh, between squares. That's all intentional based on the way that this combat is. Like, it feels really clunky and delayed at first, but the more you play this, the more this control scheme actually will make sense to you. So, just keep working at it and you'll be like, Oh yeah, this does make sense! Cause it's like more about the planning of things than it is about like super speed. And you gotta attack things at all different angles and stuff like that too, and... Yeah, it's making sense! Well, it'll make more sense when you actually... Yeah, as I said, <laughs> when you try it yourself. And by the way, you'll notice I'm jumping on all the squares because the squares could very well house a secret, like you've seen with that button. I'm just gonna go ahead and ki kill off all the vermin that are around here. Up Apparently, this is the trouble that the village is having. There's a couple of critters down here that's slugs, got rats, just like, oh man, I don't know how to take care of this. This is big trouble here. But no, no, Mike the Exterminator is on the job. He will have no- oops, I just slipped off the- <laughs> He will have no trouble except for slipping off the D-pad. And there we go, it's level 1, so it should be relatively smooth getting through. Anyway, let's go ahead and go at- oh yeah, um, hearts recover health and stuff like that, but <laughs> I'm already at full health, I have not taken a single hit once, so yeah, anyway. Yay, happy days! And uh, we are off! Oh man, this is getting complicated. We actually do have a semi-puzzle here, because, because you always jump between squares like this, you, you can't, like, jump diagonally or anything like that, so it's like, oh, what the poop? Well, that's, so you gotta go on a different plane to get on that, but anyway, I'm gonna go do, to the side, ro side rooms here, which are completely optional. In fact, they're probably more like trap rooms more than anything, but just, you know, for the sake of showing everything. <laughs> just, why not? It's a trap room, but it's not that dangerous of a trap room, so you might as well just go and flip-flop around the skull interior here, see how things are going. <laughs> Take out the keys or Zubat, whatever you want to call them. It'll work just fine. <laughs> and you notice the slugs are kind of stuck on the squares there, yeah. So you don't really have to worry about them as long, as long as you're, you know, just get a. Oh shoot, that I'm gonna be. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. I was gonna say I'm a little bit trapped there, but maybe I should have went over to 
the more free roaming area there, but I was hoping I could like, I don't know, whip out my yo-yo in time to get the bath and... Nope, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, though. We'll be just fine. It's level one. <laughs> and so, as you can tell, those, those places are dead ends. So what's the solution around these parts here? If, if there's nothing going on here, well... You see, there are... There's a second plane, as I, as I was talking about before. Doink! Doink! <laughs> and that's why you want to hit all the blocks. Well, I should say jump on all of them, the blocks, like these little blocky platforms. Like, you can't just run across them like this. You actually have to jump on them. And this is like a whole other aspect to the way this game controls. Uh, because, remember that I said that you could... See that? That you can turn while, like, in one place with that delay? So if you jump off, you can actually turn and attack while you're jumping off. Get what I mean with the, the way the game controls? Yeah. So it's just, just a little something to get used to. It, it's just fine for what it is. <laughs> In fact, it's built around that sort of dealio of controls. And... Okay. And the stars, I believe you get five of them, you recover some health. If I recall correctly, I, it's been a while since I played the game. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go down... Actually, no, I'm not gonna go down this way just yet. Um, I, I wanna unlock that way first before I waste my time going down there. So I'm gonna go around, flip-flop over here. This button will open that wall to the right side there. Which I guess I could show you now, and it won't hurt. Um, but be warned, as there's something very cheap... Um, coming up here, I'm gonna, I'll show you it with save states, just to show you what I mean by being very cheap, but here's a potion, you can pause the game, switch to your magic items by pressing down and using that, that will recover health, but I don't really need to use that right now, I only just took one little nick of damage. Alright, so we go into this room, we'll find another room, just like the other one. Or is it? Or is it? Well, it, it, it basically is, and that's... That's kind of the trap here. It's a Kaizo trap. So you 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 think that you're gonna go through this upper room, and you're gonna find a potion like this. You know, you just keep going from room to room, getting potion to potion. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna just gonna save state this here really quick. <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very cheapo uh, depot. So anyway, I'm gonna load that state now, if you don't mind. I'll just go ahead and... There we go! <laughs> so yeah, when you get to this room, don't do that. I'm just showing you for the sake of showing you, because... Yes, I know it's there. It got me the first play. I was... I was peeved. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, why did they put this in here? The game is otherwise very fair up to this point, and then you throw that in my face. Anyway, I'm going to select my uh, torches here, because it's going to be easier to take care of the snake, which is going to quickly ambush me here. And I'll go back to my yo-yo. I want to save my torches for the boss, though, because the boss is weak to the torches. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get more torches over here. It'll be up, up to 49, and I got two potions to boot, so I should have no trouble beating that boss like nobody's business. Well, when I get over to that boss, I'll just kind of, there we go, just beat stuff out there. Very nice, very nice. Key stop in place, just like Zelda. There's a lot, a lot of Zelda-like stuff going on here. Oh my god, it's the boss already! Torch. If you're on these side platforms here, you're perfectly safe, but the thing about it is you have to go to the center eventually to be able to shoot a torch inside its mouth. And yeah, and it'll start shooting a fire. <laughs> so I just kind of bait it out, jump back over. Oh, I like, uh, did that a little bit too soon. I was gonna do like a jump turn. Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's very quick. Very quick. We're okay though. We're okay. We'll get this. We will get this. By the way, um, you could actually just take a hit and jump right through the snake and go to the next room, you'll automatically win. Like, just go, just keep jumping straight up through the snake. Like, use your invulnerability period, but, uh... Um... That's a glitch, and I kinda don't wanna, don't wanna abuse that here, so I'm just gonna... You know, defeat the snaker here normally. I win! I win! By the way, if you touch most bosses in this game, they'll kill you in one hit, so... 
Yeah, that's why you want to do your invulnerability, Tilio. And you see, if you go up here, oh, the snake could be dead if I use the glitch too, just like this. <laughs> just snakes remains of the skeleton and whatnot. That's a nice little detail, but if you use the glitch, it it kind of it ruins the illusion that you killed a snake and its tail tail area is hanging out up here. <laughs> anyway, we made it through the first dungeon. Woo! Woo! Did it! Points mean nothing. <laughs> It's like, it's like an, it's an adventure game. What are the, what are the points for? What? <laughs> oh, actually, I'm at about 15 minutes here, so yeah, I'll I'll just get a little a little extra dialogue before I finish off. Hi, I'm I'm Bobo, Dr. J's assistant. Mike, you know Dr. J has a submarine called Sub C. Everything C, like colon C. <laughs> the ID code to start the engine of the of Sub C is four one four nine two. Write that down. Also, another thing that you should probably write down... Okay, maybe you don't have to write it down. <laughs> I was thinking of another code. Uh, the thing that you should write down for your future play, if you don't have the instruction book and stuff that came at the game, like if you got it used or something, remember 747. Remember. Never forget 747. You'll know when the time is right. Because if you don't have the instruction booklet and all the stuff that came with the game originally, you're gonna be kind of stuck. <laughs> Just remember, at that point, 747 to try it when you get a three-digit code. Please get on board sub -C in the laboratory. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm afraid of... of... Cucumbers. I've always been scared of cucumbers. Terrified of cucumbers. Don't, please don't, don't make me go. Please. Okay, fine. And with that, I'm gonna end off the random gameplay here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Remember, 747.